Hey guys, how's it going? Unfiltered video, August 5th, 2019. Um, yeah, my birthday was last Thursday. I'm now 31. I uh, had a great time this weekend with friends uh, at this at Boma, one of the, the Disney uh, buffets. Um, I want to talk about how the, men the inner dialogue you have with yourself. Um, so... And, and self-love, okay, that's, that's what I kind of want to talk about today. Um, so I want to tell my story. So on Thursday, right, that was my birthday, and I've, I wanted to treat myself, okay? So I, I went to a car dealership to test drive a car, a Mazda 3. It's a car I'm really interested in. Um, I didn't really have an intention to buy it, but I wanted to go there to just, like, 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 Going on a roller coaster, you know. Except instead of going to Disneyland, uh, I went to a car dealership, and you know, absolutely free, and they're happy to talk to you as well. And uh, yeah, I thought my inner dialogue was was good. I was like, "Oh, Chris, you're being nice to yourself. You're treating yourself. Oh, you deserve it. Yeah, fun. You know, having fun." Okay. Later that night, my car got jealous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe it did. Who knows? So what happened was, um, I had this figure drawing, this art class thing later that night, and around like uh, 7 p.m. So by the time 6 p.m. went rolled around, I went to grab a sandwich, you know, on my way to the art class, and um, yeah, and, and then grab the sandwich, and then. I was like, oh, you know, I'm not too full, I'm kind of full, so I decided to grab another slice of pizza, and it just started sprinkling, you know, and by the time I was done eating the pizza, it was full on raining, and I was like, oh, I'll wait out the rain, I was like, oh, shoot, the rain's not stopping, so I grabbed the pizza box, put it over my head, and ran towards my car, and the entire time, I was like, oh, fuck, 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 ah, I'm getting so soaking wet, alright, so I get to my car, and then I drive to the art class, okay? And when I get over there, uh, I yeah, I found the parking, so I was trying to find a parking place, place that was close, spot that was close. And I ended up parking in a place, and I think by, it was, that was kind of bumpy with tree roots, and I heard this like metal noise, like and I'm like, huh, oh, that's weird, what is that? Uh, I, I must have, um, um, my car must have stepped on something on the way or, or hit the curb or something like that, you know. But, yeah. Parked the car. Got out of the car and then it was soaking wet. Uh, even though I had my umbrella, like, there was huge puddles. My feet were totally wet. And then I went to the art class, right. And the entire time my inner dialogue was like, fuck Chris, ah, damn it. Why the why do you have to have that extra slice of pizza? If you just left earlier, none of this would have happened. You know that was my inner dialogue at the time. And so afterward, after the art class was over, I, I went to go find my car. And then as I was driving it away, I still heard the metal sound crank, crank, and I'm like, oh, that's that's pretty pretty weird. You know, it's probably stuck on my car. Then, you know, I I, I go around, get out my flashlight, I look at it. And then I, I I see this metal thing, like, attached to my car. So I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it's stuck. I just need to reverse my car and maybe it'll get out. So I reverse my car, and I go around, but it's still there. In fact, there's people at a bar nearby who are like, oh man, what's that sound? That's so loud. And I'm like, hey, you guys want to help me? You know, I step out of the car and um, some of them came to help me. And uh, yeah, I, I pulled my car, like, on the sidewalk, like half on the sidewalk, half half on the ground, so there's like some room and I'm taking a look at it and this, my new friend um, Samus <laughs> is taking a look, this Irish dude with his red beard, cigarette, he's like, he's like, was, he has a cigarette in his hand, is it in his hand, and he's on the ground looking at the car, yeah man, it was great, it turned out later that he was a Harley Davidson tech, like he's going to school for Harley Davidson or something, so I totally lucked out, and um, yeah, we discovered that the plate on the car, it was bent and stuff, and he needed a Phillips screwdriver, and uh, he went inside, like luckily, um, there were like these two plumbers nearby, 
they had like a plumbing tr I knew they were plumbers because there was a plumbing truck and it said plumbing on it. I was like, hey, like, can we borrow a Phillips screwdriver? And they're like, yeah, sure, you know. Um, but, man, like everything was fine and I was so grateful that I had this guy Samus to come help. But when I went to sleep that night, I was pissed at myself. There was so much negative inner dialogue. It was like, damn it, Chris, like, if I didn't have the pizza, and I would have been soaking wet, and maybe you found a different parking spot, and it wouldn't have damaged the car, and then you wouldn't have taken out the and the parts, yeah, it was just, I, I don't want to get into like the details of what happened, but I'm just imagining, right, if it were like my son or daughter, and I was talking to my kid that way, they would feel really bad about themselves, you know? Or like, it was, if it was my significant other, like my girlfriend, and I was talking to my girlfriend the way I was talking to myself, you know, I was like, Chris, did you really have to have that extra slice of pizza? Let's say her name's Christine, okay? Christine, like, can't believe this, you did this, I told you so many times, being late, whatever, now the car, you know, I wouldn't talk to them like that, you know? Like, if it was your son, or my girlfriend, it would be like, hey, everything's fine, everything will be okay, we'll get this sorted out, as long as everyone's safe. You know, like, hey, no worries, it's just a learning opportunity, you know, these things happen. That That's how I think I would talk to them, but I think I really need to change the inner dialogue, because the thing is, maybe you're I'm, when you're patient, right, that's how you talk to them, but... I think you got to change your default because when you run out of patience, you go back to your default, right? And then you're mean to people. If your default is being mean and only when you have patience, you're nice to people, um, that's not a good thing because your instinct when you run out of patience, it's going to go to that. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I, it's really apparent to me that my inner dialogue needs to be a lot more positive, a lot more encouraging, not so hard on myself, you know? So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Alright, bye.